It's 4.44 on April 3rd, 2024, and I've set up my um, solar panel another way. So uh, I'm just showing that there's lots of options. So this is pointed hopefully at the North Star, which is up there somewhere in the clouds. And um, it's uh, at 48 degrees, 48 and a half degrees. Um, angle to the ground which means that it's called equatorial mount or polar mount and if it turns at the right speed uh, 15 degrees per hour the uh, solar panel will point at the sun all day or you set it up pointing at the sun in the morning and then it stays pointing at the sun all day and it takes very little power to move it so this one is um, I have a system controlling the speed so as you can see I have no motors or anything out here and I'm controlling the speed with this little float so the float slowly rises during the day because I'm gradually increasing air pressure in here it pushes water down the water goes in here and slowly pushes up the float and as it does so um, it lets air through from from um, from here, air comes in from here, um, and um, it airlift pumps water, so you can probably see the water slowly coming up sometimes. Here it comes, and this is the speed of it. So there's the water going from one of these propane tanks to the other one. And uh, so it's very little power, as you can see. This is how fast it's going. And uh, that's enough to move the, um, this. Uh, when that happens, this lowers a tiny bit. And this uh, raises a tiny bit. And that's enough to rotate the solar panel. So it's a tiny, tiny amount of air that comes through. And if I raise the float, so I'm going to lift this up a little. See how instant it increases. And uh, uh, this is this is how, how the thing uh, turns to follow the sun. And I, I'm going to show you a diagram as well of... Um, I'm going to show you a diagram of uh, why and how it works and you don't have to do it this way there's a bunch of different ways you can use electronics to do it as well and uh, stepper motors and uh, uh, gear motors and stuff like that but uh, this is called an airlift pump so air comes down here and runs water up and um, so the water is coming out of this in here and then gets pushed up into this container and there's another way of doing it where this one is lower than that one but uh, just at the moment uh, this is how I'm doing it.